Hello. If you or someone you know is avoiding computers, scared of computers, bemused and confused by them, or if you already use them and find them frustrating and infuriating, then let me introduce you to something that will change all that. There are still many millions of people in the UK who find this to be the case, so you're not alone. Three years ago, the Broadband Computer Company set about the development of a computer starting with you, the customer. We discovered a whole new way of doing it and using the now-to-be-found-everywhere broadband to help us manage it for you. We've created a safe, faster and hassle-free computer. We call it Alex. Alex has been tried out and tested. We consulted you, the customers, and it is now available to you directly. So what can Alex do? Email, search the web, work with your photos, write letters. Well, in fact, anything that you would want to do on any other computer, and more besides. But enough of this, it's much easier for me to just show you how. Straight away from turning Alex on, there's a difference. You each get a key, which works a bit like your bank card. And every time you go to your computer, you use the key to securely turn on the machine so that no one else can use it. All the things that are commonly used in computing are now only one click away from happening. This is called my home page, and I can change it to be very personal to me, such as adding news feeds from people like the BBC, Sky, or my local newspaper. I can keep an appointments diary, put up the family photo or a memory of a great holiday, or just leave it like it is and get on with my computing. All the places that I might want to go or the things that I might want to do are shown by these big buttons down the side of the screen. They are always there whilst ever Alex is turned on. So let's start. I was listening to the radio this morning and the presenter said, if you want to find out more then go to the website. So let's try. See, I press web and whoosh, here I am. He said, go to bbc.co.uk slash radio 2. So I type it in here and whoosh, again, within seconds, I can participate and join in. And even after a little practice and gaining some confidence, I can add my own comments. Or I can use the web, the world's biggest library, to find out about anything from cinema listings to cycling, stories behind the news, to sport, health advice, to holidays, photography, to football. I can use it to track down old friends. And now, some very important information, even from the government, is only available by this means, or online as it's known. All this is yours, just one click away on Alex. Email. We hear the word all the time, and now it's taken for granted that everybody has an email address. When you use Alex, all the work and setting up is done for you. You will immediately have a secure email address from the moment that you sign up. Let's assume that you have a friend or relative that has given you an email address. You simply click this button, write new. See, it's in plain English. And then you type that email address in here. Write your message here and give it a subject if you like. You could also copy the message to someone else if you wanted to. Seconds later, your friend will receive the email. The next time you go to your email button, the likely reply and any other emails that you might have been sent will be right there. And now photos. Almost all photography today is digital, and many camera shops these days don't deal with old-style film anymore. Alex has devised an easy-to-use way of looking at your photographs and making simple changes to them. See, I can connect my camera, or put the card from my camera in the card reader, and Alex reads the card and lets me see the photos on the screen. I can then transfer them to my computer to save them safely. Send them to someone, by email, or perhaps alter them. Here's a picture of my two young sons. I just want the two of them together, so I use a tool here called Crop. I select the part of the picture that I want, like this, and then press Crop. 
And now here it is. I can still save the full picture if I want, or I can discard it. And, a pity about this picture, it's all a bit dark. Alex can change the brightness and the colour. So I slide the brightness bar along. It's as good as new. A perfect picture every time. You can still save the old picture as well as the new one, just in case you want the original one at a later date. Now, before I go on, you don't have to remember all of this, as there's another button, Help. So if you're in the middle of doing anything and can't quite work it out, and you need some help, you just click on the Help button, and easy-to-understand diagrams, and in many cases videos, will appear on the screen showing you how to do it. Watch this. Click on Help. Simple to understand and in plain English. And if you're still stuck, then you can call our friendly operators on the screen help number. Sending a letter or other type of document is something you will certainly want to do. For example, I want to send a letter to my bank. So here I click Office and on the letter template, Alex knows who I am and so has automatically prepared a letterhead with my information. A bit later on, when I'm more familiar with Alex, I'll be able to change the look, the colour of the letterhead, or even add a logo or picture to it. But for now, I'll just send the letter. This letter, or any other document, photo or page that I'm dealing with, can now either be sent electronically by adding it to an email by pressing send. See, there it is attached to the email, ready to send. Or I could press print. And as long as I had also connected the printer to my Alex computer, then out comes the letter, all ready to sign and post. It's important to know that all the documents that you might create are compatible with other computers. And if someone sent you a letter attached to an email from any other computer, then you would be able to open it and read it. Here's a few other things to do on Alex. To help you keep track of all the family and friends, there's a section here, Accessed from the People button. Here, all the contacts can be stored, and so if I want to send an email to my son, I just click here, and instantly I'm ready to go. Similarly, if I wanted to write him a letter, or visit his website, Alex has made that easy too. I click here, or here. Computers need not just be about communicating and finding information. They can be another way to be amused and entertained. So here is what we have named the fun button. Click on here and Alex gives you the opportunity to play DVDs, CDs, to access downloaded music. The easy help button will once again show you how to do this when you need to. So, we are coming to the end of this little tour. I know you'll find Alex easy to use, intuitive and completely hassle-free. Alex is always up to date, with no maintenance necessary, and is so easy to set up. There's automatic storage for your documents, photos, files and emails, and Alex offers safety and security with no need for antivirus stuff. We take care of that. It's personalised and private via your latch key with help and support always there for you. And there's a secure vault for safe backup. Alex is a computing system for life. So if you'd like to buy Alex, then you can do so by calling 0800 694 6000. And one of our customer operators will take your details and arrange the order. Go online or get a friend or relative to purchase it. Or fill out the application form to purchase that came with this DVD. Alex is a subscription service which includes a comprehensive help system. We can also arrange a broadband connection for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this little tour of Alex and that you will join us and enjoy all the benefits of hassle-free, easy and safe computing. Thank you for watching. Music